Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Here we start with Introduction to Euclid's Symmetry. We will start with Euclid's definitions, axioms and postulates. Then we shall proceed to equivalent version of Euclid's fifth postulate. Euclid was a teacher of mathematics at Alexandria in Egypt. He collected all the known work in geometry from around the world till 300 BC. His collection was called Elements. He divided Elements into 13 chapters, each called a book. These books influenced the whole world's understanding of geometry for generations to come. In this chapter, we shall discuss Euclid's approach of geometry and shall try to link it with the present day geometry. Euclid assumed certain properties which were not to be proved. These assumptions are actually obvious universal truths. He divided them into two types, postulates and axioms. He used the term postulate for the assumptions that were specific to geometry. Axioms on the other hand were assumptions used throughout mathematics and not specifically linked to geometry. Let us take some of the Euclid's axioms and discuss them. Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. In terms of geometry, it would mean if an area of a triangle equals the area of a rectangle and if the area of the rectangle is equal to area of the square, then, then the area of the triangle is also equal to the area of the square. Another axiom says that if equals are added to equals, the holes are equal. For example, if x is equal to y and we add 2 on both sides, then x plus 2 will be equal to y plus 2. Another axiom says that if equals are subtracted from equals, the remainders are equal. For example, if x is equal to y and we subtract 3 from both sides, then x minus 3 will be equal to y minus 3. This can also mean that if x is equal to y and s is equal to t, and we subtract the two equations, then x minus s will be equal to y minus t. So we have two equalities which when subtracted will give us equal. The same example can be applied to the second axiom as well. That would mean if they are added, then x plus s will be equal to y plus t. Fourth axiom says that things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. This axiom seems to say that if two things are identical, then they are equal. In other words, everything equals itself. It is the justification of the principle of superposition. For example, consider these two triangles. Now, let us see if they coincide with one another. 
clearly since the two triangles coincide with one another so they are equal to one another next exam says the whole is greater than the part this would mean if b is a part of a then a will always be greater than b and a can be written as sum of b and some third quantity and the third quantity c exam 6 says things which are double of the same things are equal to one another for example if in some polygon angle a is equal to 2 times angle c and angle b is also equal to 2 times angle c this would imply that angle a is equal to angle b seventh axiom says things which are halves of the same thing are equal to one another for example if in a polygon angle a is equal to half of angle c and angle b is equal to half of angle c then angle a is equal to angle b